We got a, a great lineup of people to talk in support of the Gateway program. But I just want to highlight how grateful Redwire is for a mission like Gateway because it supports U.S. manufacturing jobs here in California, in the United States. I can't wait to watch the largest solar array we have ever produced unfurl today. Unlike Apollo, with Artemis, we are going to the moon to stay and the gateway represents the key infrastructure that will enable robust and lasting lunar permanence. Without gateway, as it was during Apollo, lunar surface activities will be limited to roughly five to seven days. With gateway and full commercial logistics services, we can potentially sustain lunar surface commercial activities for 60 to 90 days. Spending months instead of days on the lunar surface would enable us to pursue ambitious concepts such as resource extraction and utilization. The Gateway will allow the U.S. and our partner nations to maintain peaceful space domain awareness on and around the moon, helping to prevent vulnerability through surprise by PLA activities. Moreover, the Gateway will provide a safe haven for our astronauts. Space will always be dangerous, but with Gateway, we can add a vital layer of protection to help those who willingly and boldly take on the risk of exploration. Additionally, for the deployment that you're going to witness today, the Gateway will represent the pinnacle of solar electric propulsion, a vital technology, not just for space exploration, but also for national security. Experience with solar electric propulsion and generally with a large craft operating in deep space to support surface activities will provide invaluable experience to ensure that a future mission to Mars is both safe and successful. Finally, the Gateway is the physical manifestation of our international partnerships. Our friends in Europe, Japan, Canada, and the United Arab Emirates are all making substantial contributions to the Gateway. As a matter of fact, over 60% of the costs of the Gateway are being provided by NASA's international partners. The Gateway is creating an unparalleled global and geopolitical coalition whose value cannot be properly quantified. You know, Maxar Space Systems is super proud to, to be part of this mission. I think the way that we've been able to work together, the progress that we've been able to make, and the commitments that we've been able to, to stick to really are a demonstration of things can get done differently and we can go execute in a really effective cost cost manner. And so not only what does that mean for today, but what does it mean into the future? Not only through PBE and the ROSAs, but we, uh, Redwire is also providing key elements of the gateway to us. The human interface panel and the portable electronics panel. Key portions of making gateway a habitable environment for our crew and our astronauts and the missions to come. And it's really important that we get past the design phase and into this integration and test to tackle the next set of challenges in, in making this very challenging, but very exciting mission a reality. And we're there now. All of our subsystems and components are in their flight builds. We're bringing together all that hardware to our facility in Gilbert. We'll begin integrating all that as they arrive later this year and into next. We've come a long way since 2020, and since then, we have been working with the European industry to develop our contribution to the Gateway, starting with HiHub, the International Habitation Module, in cooperation with our Japanese friends. Today, the HiHub primary structure welding is ongoing. Our prime contractor, TASAI, has recently signed a contract with Redwire Belgium for the procurement of four docking ports for the module. With Esprit, ISA will provide communications and refueling capabilities to the gateway, and more room for storage and for the astronauts living and working on the gateway. And last but not least, a unique view on the moon. Yes, international cooperation is essential for Canada's involvement, all of our involvement in space exploration. Um, we're very excited to be part of the gateway at Artemis 3. Uh, that will result in our mission specialist and CSA astronaut Jerry Hansen becoming the uh, first non-American to work with the moon. Which we're very excited for that. So uh, Japan, uh, JAXA has been working uh, years together with NASA and ESA and other uh, agencies 
to, to for the uh, gateways. And so uh, I'm so happy to hear that Rosa is now uh, having a major progress right now, and I'm uh, excited to see that. I'm so excited to learn and uh, uh, see the actual hardware of Rosa today. And we believe that we can uh, contribute to space uh, this kind of amazing community uh, continuously in the future with our uh, uh, technologies. So uh, I'm happy to be here, and I, I hope today's event and testing will be uh, the best. We're almost there. We're Essentially, we got a couple of wires to bond and we're done with assembly. The hardware mechanically is all built out. You're going to see its deployment today. And uh, we're about five months away from delivering the, the hardware over to Maxar for integration on the PPE spacecraft. You're going to see some amazing technology today. However, please keep in mind that with Gateway, we're not just building better technology, we're building a better future. This program will shape the trajectory of human exploration for decades to come. It reflects a shared commitment among nations to deepen scientific understanding, drive technological progress, and lay the groundwork for future missions to the moon and beyond. The UAE is honored to contribute to this endeavor through the airlock module developed by the Mohammed Bar Rashid Space Center. We are proud to stand alongside NASA and our international partners in shaping the future of space exploration together.